we're not. What's all the fuss? <laughs> what? Yeah, you guys playing a game or something? Hmm. What are you saying? Does it freaking look like we're playing a game? Yes. Yes, it does. I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would do you no good. With that strange comment in mind, we all looked at the camera. I can't wait. <laughs> I like Chase. Megatron? What is he doing here? Oh. That, that. Oh my god, what? What are they looking at? Well, strange man definitely fits the bill here. Yeah. Uh, what the actual fuck is this? What the fuck? Can you see <laughs> this guy? Who the oh. fuck is a way to tell anybody? What? Whoa. <laughs> okay, so when you say a strange guy, you mean fucking Voltron. Megatron. <laughs> Transformer dragged the movie away. I was gonna be like, guy's too fat, this isn't set up. Nobody could drag a fat guy. As a fat guy, I know this. I was like, oh, no, Megatron fits. How'd she Stop get such me. a good shot from on the ground? <laughs> Yo. Right? Okay, I'm not understanding. Because this looks like it's from inside the game room. So what? She was attacked, begged for her life, took a picture, and then got knocked out? Maybe she took the picture first, then got noticed, then begged for her life. It can't be. It, it can't be because she said she was peering through the fucking door at him. And this is definitely inside the game room. Look at the wallpaper. She oh, may have passed out after taking the picture? Maybe. I, I mean, he's looking I right at her. How did he not I notice? Feel like I feel like we need to talk to Megatron for this. We need to get his There is, there is, there is. There I'm is not voicing Megatron. She was in the closet. There's no closet. There's something seriously fucked about her story, and I don't believe a damn word of it. I like cheese. I don't even know where to start with this. What? What is? This is amazing. Wait, what? That was the reactions that we all had, including mine, because I've never seen this. Excellent. You haven't? I thought you beat this game. I know. I know the story beats of this game. Oh. I've beaten the, uh -huh. the other. I, well, I've played with people half the second one and then all the third. Gotcha. She was in the closet. Can't you see the bars? Yes, there was. The tall metal closet. Right, I forgot what's... Oh, the locker. The locker? But she followed him up here. How would she get into the locker? I don't. This seems totally staged. Well, you're you were definitely right about the strange part. Their face is totally covered. Yeah, that's the first thing that. Yeah, my, the face is the only thing covered here. Are you yeah. fucking kidding me? Oh my oh, god. god. That, ha that would have to be Sakura. The only person tall enough to be in. But that she was in the be. dining hall the whole time. Hero. That's right. Hero's a tall guy. Fit. Hero could do it. Yeah, that's true. Is that a robot costume? No, it's a real fucking robot. <laughs> oh, and he's dumb enough. Cool. As I said, a very strange, uh -huh. suspicious individual, yes? Oh, you fucking nailed it. <laughs> I can't even take this game seriously anymore. Holy shit. Hang on. Oh my god. Oh. So this weird robot guy <laughs> dragged to fool me away. It was Bandit Keith. He's the only one I know that uses robot decks. Okay. <sighs> took this right after when did you start attacked. using the decks? You took it right after being attacked. So is that before the boot licking or after the unconsciousness? What the fuck are you talking about? So who was the tip and who was the bo the top and who was the bottom? <laughs> Which is why if you don't hurry, 
It could become a serious problem. Here's what it is. It's 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 Taka, right? It's Taka, but on the, but with with um. The computer person, Alter Ego, up on his head. So that way she, she can voice the robot and he just has to move around. Oh my god. But, but Alter Ego didn't yell when talking. I, I know, I know. I'm just, oh, okay. at this what point. If Alter Ego can possess something from the science department, aka fucking Megatron. And she's <laughs> after, he's after, it's after strangling you for me for nutting on the keyboard. I, I, I fucking <laughs> called it, didn't I? Didn't I fucking call it when I was like, do you think that's the game writers saying don't ask questions in the near future? I yeah, fucking yeah, called it. Those, those Monica with story times really like mean something the next time. Oh my god. I see. Wow. I believe I understand. Do you really? <laughs> Finish reading. I oh, believe no. I understand what happened. Well, no, there's much I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> what a great line! <laughs> I believe I understand. No, I don't. Uh, there's much I don't understand. I do. I suddenly have a, a strong urge to see fucking Sak Sakura beat up this robot guy, though. Oh my god, she was the other person in that picture. I would not be surprised if this becomes a, like, this becomes between Megatron and Sakura! Oh, <laughs> god damn. Oh, while he will be cheers. Oh, god. The point is, someone dressed like that dragged Hifumi away. And it happened over an hour ago. Just a second. This is bad. We have to hurry. I mean, do we? <laughs> Celeste! Yes. Oh. What? Uh, Celeste, do you know where this mysterious man went? Let's see. When they left the rec room, they headed left. Oh, when you were knocked out? Yeah, totes. I see. If that's true, they were headed toward the stairs, leading down to the second floor. Then he must be down there, right? Oh, shit. <sighs> Baby Dwagon! Then he must be down there, right? Hmm. Second floor. That's where Kyoko was supposed to be. Huh? Speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko... That's actually a really good question. I completely lost track of that. <laughs> um... Sorry. I didn't have time to go look for her. This is bad. Couldn't have said it better myself, Sakura. Literally. If the question... If... <laughs> If the strange man did head to the second floor, Kyoko might run into him. We have to hurry! Kyoko's in danger! And for some reason, I care! As soon as the words of the words were out of my mouth, we all rushed down to the room. Out of the room and down to the second floor. The picture is fucked with all our brains. <laughs> Seriously, it's like... I'm immune to this stuff. Don't worry, I got it. The synapses are firing. The others just don't know which, they don't know which way they're going. <laughs> Friendly fire! Friendly fire! Uh, do you think this would probably be, uh, Kyoko? Hey, or, you two! What? Yeah, we're back, yeah. Fuck. What's going on? What's all the fuss? <laughs> what? Yeah, you guys playing a game or something? Hmm. What are you saying? Does it freaking look like we're playing a game? Yes. Yes, it does. I mean, that's what we're doing, but we're getting meta here. Listen, have either of you seen Kyoko or Hifumi? You've got to be kidding. kidding. Nope, nope, there have <clears throat> Are they on this floor? We just got here ourselves. I heard some kind of uproar, so I came running. Asshat and the Psycho? Is that like some kind of crazy, like, du uh, m musical duet? Or maybe <laughs> a pair of, like... Maybe a pair of like m early morning uh, DJs at a, at a, on a radio station. We came here together. Adorable, Stop certainly. Talking. No, you're just stalking me. <laughs> uh, anyway, could you guys help us look for them? What? Why? What happened? Uh, 
There's no time now. We'll explain later. That's fine. Well, fine. It <coughs> sounds like something interesting is going on. That's okay. fine. Kifumi, Kyoko, can you hear me? Say something. What about Taka? Does nobody give a shit about Taka? Her voice <laughs> echoed down the hall in vain. <laughs> I mean, she said it. Oh. Did you hear something? Can I really imagine Byakuya doing a more, being a morning DJ for a day, tops? <laughs> then he'd be fired for being an asshole. Actually, it's not true. Then he'd buy the radio station. <laughs> After being hmm. fired from Canon. Maybe. I think it came from the library. Okay. The library? Okay, let's go. Sure. To the book room. We ran to the library as fast as our legs would carry us. When we opened the door to the library, everyone was dead! Oh, shit. <laughs> we found Hifumi seriously injured. Uh, are you okay? Um, I'm glad to see you're still alive. You seem disappointed in that, Hina. <laughs> it's super bad, though. Look at all the blood. You do have a lot of it. What? How did you get hurt? That guy hit me. What? Who the fuck do you think? Megatron. No, no, no. It was fucking Starscream. I didn't know where Optimus was, and he beat the shit out of me. Robo Justice. Uh, that's what I decided to call him just now. What, what did you say? What are you talking about? <laughs> I love I that. What did you say? By Robo Justice. <sighs> I guess I'll talk to everyone. Hey, look, there's another hammer on the ground. Uh -huh. Oh, was there? I missed it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that boy took a serious shellacking. <laughs> I love it. I love oh it. my god. There's so many characters I fucking hate but love. What did you say? Robo Justice. <laughs> hey, I'm glad to see he is still alive. I maybe believe that. Hmm. I'm seriously happy if Fumi's still alive, but Robo Justice? Hmm. This just keeps getting stranger. <laughs> <laughs> Truer words have never been said. <laughs> Certainly not in this game. <laughs> That guy was Robo Justice. Indeed. This Robo Justice you are referring to is. Whoops. Yeah. This. Is it not? What the hell am I looking at? <laughs> He's got RJ! What the hell am I looking at? Uh, this is the one that attacks Celeste and Hifumi. Isn't that right, Hifumi? That's him. I'm sure of it. He has the same eyes. Robo Justice! He has the same eyes! <laughs> oh. A black void. It can't be. Robo Justice, huh? Damn. This just keeps getting. You said that already. Uh, look at the. Yeah. Oh, number, number two. two. A hammer, just like the one Celeste was attacked with in the rec room. But this one is Justice Hammer 2. Is the shaft shorter? Uh, I think it no. looks the same. And on top of that, this one is actually a little bigger than the first one. Mm -hmm. He attacked me with that hammer. He knocked me right on the head <laughs> with it. So remember how I said that Hifumi looks like the Pokemon Seal as a person? You know, with the little <laughs> the little lip things, the big horn on his head and everything, the roundness. Are you trying to tell me that Robo Justice went around clubbing baby seals? <laughs> yeah, really I don't know hard if he's a baby too. seal. <laughs> Hammer that big. I'm surprised you're still okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm not okay! Look at all this blood! Hey! Protein? <laughs> God damn it, Sakura. Protein helps heal wounds, you know. 
Would you like some? <laughs> Here's a sausage. You're so happy for your microphone. What? I'm so laughing through our bot's microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I have never heard such a thing. Are you sure it isn't just you? Oh, I, oh good. More crazy. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but thank God Monokuma's here. <laughs> <laughs> it's him. Oh, speaking of Monokuma, bro. You don't have him, do you? Of course I have him. He's, he's on my bed. Oh. What the fuck were you doing to him on the bed, Casual? N nothing. I threw him out of my way when I was looking for my keys earlier. Okay. I choose to believe that. <laughs> Found him. <laughs> <laughs> A robot of justice, huh? Now things are really starting to get exciting. What kind of special moves does it have? Can it fly? Can it combine? Yeah. <laughs> what? They went for the prize. Really? Though. He came in just for that? I mean, to be fair, wouldn't you if you were behind all this? Like, I <laughs> cannot explain how thrilled I am that someone is going through this little these lengths to make something happen. But oh my god, thank you. This is the opposite of boring. <laughs> Why is he here? Are you okay with this? Let us not concern ourselves with him. What we need to do now is get Ifumi to the nurse's office right away. <clears throat> Whatever else we do, he needs to be treated as soon as possible. I mean, it's too bad we don't have an ultimate nurse around here. Does anyone know how to fucking dress a wound? Yeah. A head, ru a head wound, nonetheless? <laughs> Wrong game. You're right, let's go. What do you mean? I don't know. Oh, thanks, everyone. We moved Ifumi to the nurse's office on the first floor so we could take care of his injuries. Hmm. How are you feeling, Ifumi? You want me to take a look at that? At ya? Um, I, I don't know. I think I'd stop bleeding. I'm still kind of dizzy, though. So then, perhaps we should rest here a while. I suppose. Uh, yeah, good idea. Well then. There are x-rays on the back. The rest of us should get back to looking for that mystery assailant. Yeah, no shit. Kyoko and or Taka could be dead by now. Probably not Kyoko. Uh, Hero's gone too. Oh, f no. Uh, right, right. Of course Hero's gone. I'm assuming it's him. Oh, yeah. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Indeed, before another victim appears... The Justice Hammer seems to be increasing in size. First one, and now two. So in other words... If there is a Justice Hammer 3, we can only assume it is even bigger than the first two. Oh. If you got hit with anything bigger than that, you'd be dead for sure. Hmm. Tell us what happened to you, Fumi. Um, well... I woke up early this morning and started looking for Alter Ego ahead of everyone else. I went to the third floor, <laughs> and that's where the strange costume man attacked me. Hmm. That must be what I witnessed around seven this morning. After that, he dragged me to the library and whack! Came down the hammer. That must have been... 30 or 40 minutes ago. Why did you drag it to the library? Hmm. At around 7.30, in other words, we would have still been in the dining hall. Which means Hina, Sakura, and I were together, and Kyoko was still with us. So we all have alibis. I was in the laundry Wait, room. Kyoko wasn't there. My laundry. No, she was. She was in the dining room. The only three that, that were there oh, were Sakura, yeah. uh, uh, her, and Aoi. Yes! <clears throat> His black underwear is as black as the pitch black darkness of the blackest night. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why do you know that? 
Is it obvious? Because I was peeking. That's it. Let's put that tongue to good use, you freak. <laughs> Master. <laughs> now, now, I no. love how he has a stamp collection. Anyway, so that means Biafia and Toko were together at the time. <laughs> Meaning they also have alibis. Weird then, ones, but alibis. And the only ones who don't have alibis for when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked are the only two we haven't seen yet, Hiro and Taka. That's it, right? I don't know, like... <sighs> Celeste is full of shit. And I don't know what her angle is, but she is somehow full of shit. I think I Very figured it strange. out. She but, convinced the stoner to attempt to commit murder, but not really. And when he eventually does commit murder, she'll turn on him. Like, oh, it's his fault. And then get him killed to reduce the number of people left. She's going to kill him by making him kill somebody. In a weird, bizarre, backwards murder thing. You know? Like, she doesn't have to kill him if he kills somebody. She knows it's about it as his accomplice. And then turns him in for it. Is Hero really going to be stupid enough to, like, she, like, for him to succeed, she would have to be okay with dying. I mean, he could, she could have convinced, she's supposed to be a very good liar, so maybe she convinced him. She's supposed to be, but I am buying any of her story. Yeah, but that makes me think she's leading up to making holes in it and be like, oh, I was totally in it. I'm sorry, I have to let her out. Hero did it. Because he's dumb as a brick. Hell, actually, he is to be convinced of this. Uh, to be honest. Uh, did you read this line, Armand? I'm sorry. No, you guys are debating. I'm sorry. That's all right. By the way, what happened to Kyoka? I haven't seen her anywhere. Um, oh yeah. She was supposed to be checking the second floor, but I didn't see her up there at all. Where could she have disappeared to? Hmm. She's disappeared, huh? What a strange woman. So that's it. She might be exactly as I suspected. The spy? Uh, hold on! Kyoko was with us in the dining hall when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked. So... Hmm. I'm not talking about who attacked them. I like cheese. And I say that a, a lot. Way too much. <laughs> I can't wait for the final count. Right? I'm referring to what we talked about last night. Who the mastermind spy might be. Are you saying Kyoko's working with the mastermind? Th that's not possible. What? Isn't it? This woman, who seems almost eager to handle dead bodies, hasn't even revealed her true identity. Hey. Save this discussion for later. Right now, we need to focus on finding the suspicious individual. Okay. <clears throat> If we don't hurry, there's only going to be more victims. That might be why Kyoko and Taka and Hiro haven't shown up yet. She's right. We have to do something about that mystery man first. Um, don't worry about me. I'll catch up with you guys after I rest for a bit. <laughs> Understood. Take care of yourself. Well then. Okay, let's go. This is the first time she had her back turned like that, but didn't disappear mid-sentence. So, whoever that is running around, why are they wearing that weird costume? Do not be recognized? Huh. Don't bother looking for reasons for that. For a deviant. What to do? What to do? So, what are we gonna do? Split up and look around? I'm going with Biakia. We just don't know her ultimate talent. For all we know, she could be the ultimate actress. I'm still betting on Detective. Huh. Our opponent is very dangerous. We don't know what they're capable of, even here. What? What's wrong? Okay. I saw a shadow. Something moving around at the top of the stairs. Huh? Really? Uh. Up on the second floor, then! You bastard! You won't get away from me! We all shot toward the stairs. I... What if she's the ultimate creation? A robot? Who? He must be around here somewhere. Let's split up and corner him. Well. But don't take any chances. As soon as you find him, call out and I'll come running. Oh. Okay, but what should we do? 
we yell? Who the fuck cares? Just yell! Uh, just a second. Ooh. Anything! It doesn't matter! So then... Then... This... Huh? Okay? Sure, that sounds great, Link. What are you saying? How or do ya or whatever you want. Just yell loud enough so we can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> do ya? I've never heard such a good action. <laughs> Okay, whatever. Just hurry up and start looking, okay? Let's go. <laughs> oh, Christ. Hey, Mr. Robot! Where are you hiding? If you don't come out, we're gonna decommission you. <laughs> I think the only reason I like her this much is because of your voice for her. <laughs> <laughs> we spread out in every direction to track down the costume suspect. What if it's Kyoko's alternate form? Do ya? Donut? Oh, donut. Uh. I will check the art room. Where that costume would oh, have to yeah. be made. I mean, that sounds completely 100% legitimate, but then they have me on the second floor to check the second floor. I don't remember where things are. <laughs> I have no sense of direction. No people. Oh, hey, the poster's back. Yep. So it is. And hey, blood it's free. Of blood. <laughs> oh. That strange cry. That had to be Celeste. It came from the floor above. She's on the third floor. Because three is above two. I'm coming, Celeste. I sprinted up the third floor. 